Hey guys, today I'm just gonna do a vlog style uh, post on why I'm grateful to be a runner, um, especially on the physical challenge side of things and the personal side of things. Um, I'm gonna do a separate post on why I love to run to create memories and moments with others, but I'm gonna put that on a different channel called Happiness Built. So in this episode, I'm gonna talk about why I became a runner and why I'm still doing it after all these years. Um, I started running when I was in sixth grade because my friend asked me to go running with him and I wanted to have friends. <laughs> and so I hated it. It was physical pain. And we would go out typically on a three mile loop around the golf course. And I was not a big fan of running, but I really valued that friendship. So when I got into high school, I did cross country and I was a social runner. I was one of the slowest on the team, but one of the cool things about running in high school is I went from one year we had a really bad team and then we got a new coach who ran with us and challenged us and actually coached us and we became one of the best teams in the state overnight. Um, and it was a really cool experience for me, especially now looking back because now my kids are in high school running cross country. Um, my daughter's team just won the state championship. My son's team won it last year. They're on a very competitive team and I want to help them get any competitive edge they can get as runners because they're into it and, and doing much better than I ever did. Well, that's where my journey started. Um, I hated running but ran through high school and then into college, that's where I decided I loved running and it's because I ran my first marathon. Um, training for my first marathon was something, you know, that this was back 25 years ago and at that time, Marathoning wasn't nearly as popular as it is today. And so um, completing a marathon was a really unusual thing. And I trained by myself, I ran it by myself, and it was a really hard thing that I accomplished. And it helped me see in my mind, I can do really hard things. And it was really significant for me because of that. Well, I ran a few more while I was in college and then throughout my adulthood, I've continued to run every few years. I compete in a race or two. And it's something that I've maintained to, to prove to myself that I can do hard things. And of course I've scaled that up. Now I've run a double marathon and a 50K um, and I've done some hard races. A and part of it is simply for that mental challenge of doing something hard. Um, the bigger part of running is for the training. Uh, it, I get out there and it's a physical challenge, but it helps me stay in shape. And obviously I'm a big boy <laughs> um, and I've struggled with my weight. At one point I got up over 300 pounds. And so running for me is a way to regulate and, and work on that. I, I, many of you know a few years ago, I went on a 100 pound weight loss journey and running was a major part of that. And so I'm really grateful for running and the, the place that it's paid uh, in that part of my journey. So I run for my health. Uh, and I love the data side of that actually. I've, I've always logged my miles and my weight loss and I love looking at those numbers and seeing trends and training for new things. It's a really cool thing for me. So that's part of it too. Now, an even bigger part of it for me is, so in addition to my health, it feels really good and I love how I feel when I'm done, but even more than that is my mental health. I run and especially since I started doing distance running in college, I love being out by myself in my own thoughts, listening to a book or a podcast, and just being there with my thoughts, being able to zone out, that's where I get my best ideas. It's where I think uh, about problems that I need to solve, and I work through things. And I love, 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 love running for that reason. Running just is an opportunity for me to, to be with myself. It's my meditation time. And, and that, above all else, is why I love being a runner. Now, <clears throat> I love being a runner enough that I've created this channel where I've shared things with you. Uh, if there's anything you wanna know about my running journey or the things I've learned, just throw it in the comments. I'd love to talk with you more about my life as a runner. I have some big goals coming up for 2023. Uh, this year, I'm behind schedule to get my thousand miles, but I might be able to pull it off if I really crank things up for these last few weeks. So excited to document that journey and, and share what I'm learning with you. All right, bye.